Okay, so you see this light here? This is the Ambitful FL80 RGB light. That's right, it's RGB. This light over here that's lighting me on this side, this is actually the Godox XSL, hold on. The Godox SL60W. It's been the light that has been my workhorse for about the past three years. There's not a lot to complain about it, although some people do say it's a little bit noisy and you can really hear that fan going inside. However, in 2021, if you're looking for a good studio light, I think there's gonna be a lot of better options out there for you. And again, this light has done what it's needed to do for me, but it's kind of boring. I mean, if I go behind here, I can show you that basically the only thing the light does is turns down and turns up. It's not even bicolor. Daylight balanced, on or off, and you can dim it too. But for about the past, I don't know, month or so, I've been using this light here, which is the FL80 RGB. And let me tell you, I am completely sold on this light. Now, before I get into why I do like this light so much, I do wanna tell you that Ambitful did send me this light to review, but they have not seen the script. They have not paid me to do this video, so all these thoughts are my own. However, if you do wanna check either of these lights out, I'll leave links in the description below so you can check them out and compare them that way. So let's talk about why this light actually steps out between the rest of the competition. And first, well, it's RGB. You can control the total color, it's total RGB. You can go daylight, you can go super warm with it. And on the app, you even have tint control, so you can change it to more magenta and more green if there's something that you think that is throwing it off. With this being an RGB light, it is super practical. So for example, if you wanted to use it just as a key light, like I'm using this one here, you can totally do that. Or if you wanna fill the room, you can turn it onto RGB and you can totally change your background with just a click of a button. Let me show you. Okay, so I have the light set up just behind me here, as you can see, just blasting on this wall right behind me. And now I can totally change the background of my YouTube set with just a click of a button. Purple, red, green. That's why this light is so versatile. However, if you were gonna use this as a key light, what you can also do is change it to daylight balance. So this is what I would use if I had in the key light right here. And I could set my temperature on my camera to 56 Kelvin. But if you wanted to change that up and you needed to go a little bit cooler, you can just drag this over and all of a sudden it goes much more cooler or you can go way warmer in the back as well, which is a huge upgrade from this Godox light that's behind me here. On top of being able to change the temperature, you also have a green magenta compensation so you can control your tint. So I can go this way, it'll go really green. Or if I go this way, it'll go really orange and it'll compensate for both of those things. Oh yeah, and this thing is super bright too. Watch this. Ugh, too much, too much, too much. Much better. Furthermore, on top of this, you also have effects. So you can look at the cops are chasing you. Fire truck, ambulance, lightning. Stop. <laughs> okay, before I give myself a headache, let's move on. One of the features I really like about this light that makes it stand out for me is the fact that you can almost use this as a wireless light and you don't have to have cables running around your whole studio. Let me show you. So in addition to purchasing this light, you can also get one of these battery packs here. I just have the cheap newer ones. They seem to work fine. And you can stick it in this thing and plug it right in here so that you have no cables dangling around your whole studio. So if you're using this as like a fill light like this and you're moving around the room constantly, you can just pick it up and bring it. Don't worry about tripping over cables. If you're ever on set and you got cables walking around, you got talent tripping over them, it can become a huge problem and a huge headache really quick. Or if you're just in a small room like this using it as a YouTube studio, it can be very helpful just to have the floor as clean as possible. If you've seen those really trendy YouTube videos right now where they make a whole YouTube setup just on one light stand, you can totally do that here and I would highly recommend it. I think I might even do this myself where I can get a mount for my camera here, put your mic on top, obviously your camera is going to be wireless because it has a battery. You got a battery pack for this light here and you're totally portable. It can take it anywhere throughout the house. Also, speaking about portability, let's not forget how small this is. I'll show you a comparison here between this and the Godox light that I have behind me. This is significantly smaller. It's built very well. It's like all metal all the way around, or at least feels like metal, or at least a really hard plastic. It feels better than the Godox for sure. And the fact that it's so light, you can literally bring it everywhere with just one hand. Like, it's wicked. Now, before I keep going on about this light, I just want to thank the sponsor of this week's video, which is Cuts Clothing. So listen, my wife and I are super busy. We just spent eight weekends on the road. Eight weekends straight, not at home, driving, shooting weddings, shooting travel content, shooting corporate videos, the list goes on. We both have full-time jobs on top of that. So the last thing that I have time for is to worry about fashion. 
So in my closet, I need some staples that are go-tos that are gonna look good for every occasion, which is why I wear Cuts clothing almost every single day. The, they fit great, they're buttery soft, they look good. Chelsea also approves them too, so if your clothing is approved by your wife, you're doing okay. All of these shirts also have a select cut on them, so they either have a curved hem, an elongated, or a split hem. And let me tell you, they all look good. You can wear them out to business meetings, I can wear them on a date with Chelsea, or I can even wear them to the club. You know, as long as you have a vaccine passport, I guess now. It's just the world we live in. Not only that, but they're super minimalist and they're high end and they just they just look good. So if you guys wanna check out Cuts Clothing, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get 20% off your next Cuts purchase. Let's get back to the light. So the build quality for this light, I think is fantastic. It's super compact, super small, and it's all metal, which makes it feel really high quality. I actually think it's quieter than the Godox SL6. The Godox can be quite loud from time to time, um, and I think I've noticed this one a lot less than the Godox. Finally, this light also boasts an app, which is miles better than the Godox XL60. I do have a like a small remote for the Godox one somewhere, but I rarely ever use it. However, this app has come in so handy. So they do have some buttons on the back and you can change all the different parameters back here with just these buttons, but it kind of takes a while to get used to. You got to get used to where the buttons are. But if you just scan the QR code that comes in the little um, instruction manual with this and you get this app, it is super responsive. I've never had a hiccup with it. It's as soon as I'm changing the light on here, like there's almost no delay. It's pretty wild. You can change the intensity, you can change the color like we talked about, all just from this app. And this app, like I said, has been fantastic to use. So if I were gonna rate this light at a 10, I'd probably give it somewhere at like maybe like a nine and a half out of 10. The only thing that I could really complain about is when you have the cord that plugs into the wall, there's a power brick at the bottom. So when you plug it in here and then you have the light up to about this height, the power brick sits off the floor and kind of sways back and forth. And I'm sure that's not good for the power brick and it's probably not good for the little plug-in up here. And I'm sure after time, if that's swaying around, um, you're probably gonna run into trouble where it's gonna loosen that um, connector or that female end and you could run into some trouble down the road. But to get around that, I just got some Velcro straps and I strapped it onto this pole here just to make sure it doesn't slide around. And honestly, I think that's really the only thing that I have to complain about this light. It has been fantastic, it's been reliable, it's been quiet, it's got RGB so I can get a ton of different scenarios and uses out of it. And I think Chelsea's even gonna use it for our Halloween party we're gonna have here in a couple weeks. She's just gonna light the place up purple or something, I don't know. Again, I just wanna thank Ambitful for sending me out this light. I honestly have been so busy lately with all of our other videos we've been doing that I really haven't done any product reviews in a while. But when this one came through, I actually said, yeah, well, I really wanna do this one because this is just something super unique that I think you guys need to know about. If you wanna check out this light or you wanna compare this light to the Godox light beside me here, I'll leave a link to both of these in the description below. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the description and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you guys like this video and wanna see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can see you guys on the next one. Bye.